Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I have this 2015 Final Cascade with a Cummins ISX engine. And the problem that this Cummins ISX engine is having is then it's having uh, low power and also is having uh, the check engine light on in some period of time. Um, if you look closer to this uh, Cummins ISX engine, you can see that this Cummins ISX engine was repaired before the engine head is new and components where gaskets and stuff like that were replaced because uh, this engine needed a major overhaul but after the um, the truck went for a couple trips it started uh, showing that checking it light on and the owner of the truck is complaining that there is low power so um, for that we're gonna need to hook the comments inside software to see what the Cummins ISX uh, system is telling us about this specific problem. So for that, we're gonna go to the cap to get further details. So the computer is already connected to the OBD port of the vehicle. So we have already the Cummins inside software connected. So we go to fault codes to see what type of fault code we're getting on this one. So we have here the fault code. Uh, here is the Cummins ISX uh, Cummins uh, specific number and uh, we have here the generic number, the one you want to see anywhere, the 123916. So this code refers to uh, a fuel leak and a fuel leak then is um, happening at a specific moment because if we can see right now then the fuel uh, uh, the, the call of the fuel leak is inactive over here that means then the code was active before but right now was uh it's no longer active so the description of the code said clearly fuel leak the engine fuel leak and it says then the data is valid but be uh, about normal operability so this means uh this code is referring then the fuel pressure is getting a little higher so if we click over here we can get the troubleshooting thing so, yeah. so we can see then the engine may run rough may stop running may not start or engine may be difficult to start these are the the, the possible uh, effects that you can find when this code is active and it tells you everything about what is the problem with the uh, with the code so if we go all the way down over here let's see we can tell over here i've been taken and this one over here the chop tug this one this one chop tug over here this one is the one then you want to see this is possible causes of this full code it includes uh, leak, leaking fuel injectors or fuel injectors connectors or uh, leaking fuel rail pressure relief bar. So these are the possible things. I mean, it's obvious then uh, then there is a leak. But the thing is like uh, we can see here then it says then the then the fuel leak is a very high leak but at the moment the leak is doesn't it is not happening so what we're gonna do right now is to measure that uh, number so we are going to start the engine and measure the uh, fuel pressure so we're gonna go to data over here data monitor logger over here this area so we're gonna go there and we are going to measure the the uh, the fuel pressure the fuel pump pressure and we want to find that Let's see i think i already passed it fuel pump Octavero, okay, real pressure here this one so we want to measure this one and we want to compare it to this one so what I want to do is to compare both like to see this is the pressure then the system is asking for for the engine to run and this is the pressure then the sensor is actually reading so let's start the engine and check the measurements
Okay, so the pressure looks fine. I don't see nothing wrong with it. There is nothing wrong with this pressure. It is possible that there is a specific temperature. Or a specific speed the uh, fuel leaks over and over. Okay, let's go out, let's go over here. only appears at specific moments. Uh, this could be because the leak is very small or or the leak only happens at a specific speed, a specific temperature. Um, to fix this problem we have to actually check what is the uh, injectors. It could be then we have a, a, a leaking injector. An injector is leaking or the uh, one of the the check valve from the fuel pump, the rail from the um, pressure rail is leaking, or the fuel pump itself it is not actually building enough pressure. Um, that will be the possible cause of this problem because this engine was uh, repaired, as I say. So it's possible that probably. We can say, what I think right now, because this engine was repaired, it's possible that one of the fuel lines um, was not uh, done properly. Probably one of the lines that go to the injector probably is leaking in between and is letting the pressure to go in a different area. So, if we come over here, that's what I want to show you. The fuel lines are these ones. On this case, uh, I was checking right now, then it looks a little wet. So probably that could be one of the case, but that's, that is not that much to cause a big leak. So, what I think is then, internally, this line goes all the way to there, and from there, there is another line that goes there from the injector. Probably one of those was not done properly and is causing a leak somewhere. Probably the leak is going to the interior of the engine, which is not because I was just checking the um, the oil and the oil looks in a good condition. So the leak probably is going back to the return. So the oil, the, 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 the fuel, I'm sorry, is going um, back to the return to the rear area of the head and coming back to the uh, to the fuel module over here, and that's why the computer is getting tricked. Or uh, in some cases, could be then the check valve over here. There is a check valve over here. You can see it over here, like from top over here. That one, that is a check valve. Um, then uh, controls the pressure inside their fuel rail. And if that check valve was bad, it could be a problem. So um, probably these. Um, could be uh, uh, the reasons why this um, truck is getting this hot. Um, I will just inspect it later. Probably I would I will do a different video on what was the cause of this problem because uh, the reason 
about this code is that this code has many different solutions. It's not only one solution because it is just telling you what is the problem, but it's not telling you where is the problem. So the fuel system is composed by multiple things, fuel pump, fuel rail, fuel lines, fuel, fuel injectors, and seals. And uh, one of those can be bad, not until you inspect one by one, you want to know what is going to be the problem. But as I said before, because we um, we know that this engine was repaired, probably the cause of the problem is somewhere where the engine was uh, worked on. So probably one of the lines or one of the seals of the fuel injectors are bad. So we have to remove all that and inspect that and see if there is any problem with that or simply there is one injector that is actually not working well. Uh, for the moment, I guess this is all the details I have to give you about this specific code. And um, as I say, it's going to have multiple solutions. It's not just going to be one solution for this code. Uh, well, uh, I want to leave it like this right now. Uh, I want to continue my research on this truck and later I'm going to give you more details about it. And uh, probably I can tell you what was wrong with it and how to ins to check that. How is the process to inspect that? How you gonna remove things and where are you going to find those things? Um, so if you have any experience or comments about this specific code, you can actually use the comment section below. That is very helpful for everybody, even for me. Uh, we can find different information there. That's the reason why it's important for you to comment in the comment section because you can leave opinions or you can actually help some other people with some uh, suggestions or recommendations you have on that video, on, on that comments comment section. So, uh, and uh, if you wanna ask me any more, uh, any, anything more uh, specific or anything to me directly, you can go on Instagram, look for Francisco Maya YouTube, and uh, you can contact me there. When I send me some support, you can go to the description of this video where I have details how to send support to our channel so I can continue making valuable videos like this one for you and for everybody that wants to know something about these machines. So as always, thank you for watching. Support my channel, that is very important. Subscribe to the channel, it's important as well. Like the video, share it with anybody that wants to learn things about these machines. And thank you for watching.